Okay, so we made it to Cody. We've been staying at a place called Applejack Ranch, which is just outside of Cody. Cody is an hour, hour and a half east of Yellowstone. We backtracked through Yellowstone to come along the road to Cody. That road is a spectacular drive. There's snow-capped mountains, there's snowy roadsides, frozen lakes, even at this time of year. We're heading into Cody. We're going to go and visit the things around Cody. There's a museum, there's another Old West town. There's a surprise for dinner tonight. We're looking forward to this day. Come along and join us with it. Okay, first stop of the day, Buffalo Bill, Centre of the West. Let's go and check this out. The Buffalo Bill Centre of the West is a huge centre and it has five museums. It is an affiliate of the Smithsonian Institute. I'm about to take the back train. Looking through the eyes of memory of the West I have known and loved. The cost to visit all five museums is only $23 per adult, with discounted prices for seniors, veterans, students and young people. That's the wings, that's the skeleton of a golden eagle. These golden eagles look a lot like a wedge tail eagle. They don't have the same tail and they're a bit smaller than a wedgie as well. We started our visit at the Natural History Museum. I enjoyed seeing the taxidermy animals and reading all about the climates and ecologies associated with the different elevations of the Rocky Mountains. It's astounding how well the Americans do their museums. Grizzly back paw and then grizzly front paw. The size of it. The Buffalo Bill Museum showcases the life of Buffalo Bill Cody and his efforts in promoting the American West. Buffalo Bill founded the town of Cody and led a life as a soldier and bison hunter before transitioning into a showman. He entertained crowds with both real and fictional stories, captivating audiences with his tales of the Wild West. Firearms Museum displayed over 4,000 firearms. And while not the largest showcase in the US, it boasts the most comprehensive collection in the country. It was astounding to see so many firearms on display. Oh, wait, there's more. Those and those of them. And? <laughs> no. Oh my god. <laughs> Lunch at the museum cafeteria was a simple hot dog and crisps with Pepsi. We share this between us. My favourite museum was the Museum of the Plains Indians. It was a massive museum and provided great insight into the industrious and creative lives of the Native Americans who called this area home. The displayed details were very impressive.
So that was the Buffalo Bill Centre of the Wild West. That's a huge museum. I'm sure there were bits that we missed. We definitely missed parts of the firearms museum. There were 7,000 firearms on display. Uh, we didn't see all of them, but I mean, there's just so many guns to look at. We, my favorite things were the animal displays, the, the taxidermy gone right, uh, it was really, really good. Scott will say more about that, I'm sure. And the Museum of the Plains Indians, that was fantastic. Just the detail in their workmanship, their clothing, their shoes, their weapons, their artwork, their houses. It's such an intricate culture and, and I'm glad to see that Native Americans like Aboriginal Australians are working hard to, to hold on to their culture because they were such wonderful artistic industrious people so that was my favorite part also i had a go at shooting pistol and there was a bunch of american kids on school excursion here and proud to say as an aussie i beat them all and shot more targets than they did so we've had a bit of a look at the um, buffalo bill <coughs> center for the west on youtube seen some things but to see it in like for real is amazing favorite thing i'm torn between taxidermy gone right um, amazing taxidermy on the animals. We've seen some of those animals in the wild from a distance, so it's really good to be able to see them up close. Uh, and the taxidermy is just awesome. Uh, so it's torn between that and the chuck wagons. Love seeing the chuck wagons and all the stuff, how they used to live back then. Um, so they're probably my two top favorite things. One of the outstanding things that they do here in most of the American museums is represent the native people. And this one here is outstanding, absolutely outstanding. Really informative, um, really interesting to see, fantastic. Cody is a relatively small town with just over 10,000 people. The population swells each summer with tourists on the way to Yellowstone and the Tetons. While it has many touristy stores, Cody is definitely a Wild West town with a strong cowboy culture. The Old Trail Town is an open air historical museum that showcases buildings and memorabilia from the Wild West frontier days of 1890s Wyoming. Some of the buildings featured here are famous for the cowboys and outlaws who had been in them, and the site also features the graves of notable people, including Jeremiah Liver Eden Johnston, who warred against the Crow Indians, and buffalo hunter Jim White, among others. The museum is located on the site where Buffalo Bill Cody first chose to establish the old town of Cody City. Many of the buildings have been brought in from various locations around the state and preserved. Similar to Nevada City in Montana, this old trail town is an excellent representation of Wild West and frontier history in Wyoming. This has been a great day in Cody. We loved that museum. It was huge and I'm sure there was a lot that we missed. The old trail town was also interesting like the other old west towns that we've been to. So today is my birthday in Australia and that means that tonight we're out for dinner. We're going to the Cody Wild West show which is has a chuck wagon dinner or something like that and a bit of a concert. Looking forward to it. Can't wait to show you what it's like. Hey have you ever been on stage in front of an audience before? Only at school? Doing what? Anything cool? Um, just like doing speeches, like for... Speeches? Like for president and stuff. Ten years old, he's already giving presidential speeches. <laughs> That's cool, man. Well, I'll tell you what. 
And the second one is to have good eye contact, okay? If you can do those two things, man, the rest of it's cream cheese. So while I'm getting your dinner bell and stuff ready, what I need you to do is step right up kind of close to the front and do your very best to smile and make eye contact with every single one of these people out here in front of you. Are you ready for that? Take a deep breath, step forward and begin. How did he do? Did he get most of you? Right on. Wyatt, step back here for me, man. Have you ever rung a dinner bell before in your life? Nope. You ever played the triangle? Nope. <laughs> Too bad. This is a bass triangle. And this is the ringer. It's made out of cast iron. It's a lot heavier than it looks, okay? So don't drop it on your toes. Don't drop it on this equipment. Whatever you do, please don't hit me with it. Okay, you hold that. Other end. Hold that end. There you go. I'm going to hold this, and you're going to go around kind of in a circle, hitting all three sides as fast, loud, and accurately as you can. When you feel like you got everybody's attention, stop ringing the bell. Look at your audience, and as loud as you possibly can, I want you to yell, come and get it. You got all that? Nice. On the count of three, you guys say, what? Ring that bell. One, two, three. Wyatt, ring that bell. Whoa. Dinner was a classic chuck wagon meal with a choice of brisket or pork, served with cowboy beans, slaw, and potato. Complimentary traditional lemonade was provided, and there was also liquor available for purchase. The evening was accompanied by a great music performance. Here are just a few snippets from the show.
to stand for this song and honor those who serve. Just one day past Memorial Day.
So we've just come out of the Cody Cattle Company dinner show. Fantastic show. Um, fantastic musicians. Great food. Uh, fun atmosphere. Really, really good night. So thanks for coming along on this episode. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Take care of your mates. Voices from the cities and voices from the larger towns. We fill our head full of dreams and turn the world upside down. All right, here we go. ROCK in the USA. ROCK in the USA. ROCK in the USA. Yeah, yeah. Rocking in the USA.